Do you want to figure out the rarities of each NFT in your collection? Or how about that NFT that you bought the other day? Do you want to know how rare it might be? And before you buy an NFT, you should know how rare it is. Stop wasting your money and let me show you how to find the rarity of NFTs in any collection. NFTs in collections like CryptoPunks, The Board Ape Yacht Club, and CodeCats have attributes, some more rare than others. This makes some NFTs in the collection worth more than others. But how do you know how rare the attributes on your NFT are? Well, the NFT that you're holding might be worth more than you think. Or someone might be selling an NFT that's worth more than they know, and you could snatch it up to make a profit. Quick disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor and everything that I present in this video is for educational purposes only. If you're looking for financial advice, consult a professional. So how do we figure out the rarity of attributes on an NFT and the rarity of the NFT as a whole? Well, here's the formula. We divide the specific attribute count, the amount of times this specific attribute shows up on an NFT, by the total NFT count in the collection, and then we divide that into one. Here's an example. Let's say that this hat shows up 1,000 times in a collection of 10,000. That would be 1,000 divided by 10,000, which equals 0.1. Then we take 1 and divide it by 0.1, which equals 10. So 10 is the rarity score of this specific attribute. Now let's say that this other hat shows up 100 times in that same collection. So that would be 100 divided by 10,000, which equals 0.01. Then we divide that into 1 and we get 100. This one is more rare, its score is 100. So first we figure out the scores of all of the individual attributes, and then to figure out the NFT's overall score, we add up all of those scores of those individual attributes, and this gives us a total rarity score for the NFT. The higher the score, the more rare that NFT is. If you're a collection creator and you've been using my 10K NFT collection GitHub repo to create your collection, or if you've seen this video, I've added a rarity calculator into the repo. If you want to use this independently, I also have a dedicated repo just for the rarity calculator, which can be used to get the rarities of any NFT collection, and I'll go over how to use each of them right now. First, we're going to look at the integration with the 10K collection repo, and then we'll look at using the calculator independently for any collection. If you want to skip ahead to that, just use the timestamps. The rarity calculator in the 10k collection repo works off of the metadata.json file that gets created in the process. You'll also see two new utilities under utils called get rarity from metadata and rarity rank. And just so you know, this rarity.js file is from Hashlips and calculates rarity based off of your layers after you generate your images. It also doesn't calculate rarity in the same way as I do. So let's look at the get rarity from metadata file first. So we're first going to read the metadata.json file and parse the data, and then we're going to process the rarity of the NFTs. So in this function, we're first going to loop through all of the NFTs, and then we're going to check to see if attributes exist. If they do, we're going to loop through all of the attributes, and we're going to keep track of the rarities in a rarity object. If the current attribute is not in the rarity object, then we're going to add it. And then also, if the attribute value is not there, then we're going to add that and include a count. And then we'll increment the count every time the specific attribute is found, and we'll calculate the attribute's rarity using the same formula that I explained earlier. After that, we'll add a rarity score for each NFT. This is the sum of the rarity scores of each attribute on the NFT. Next, we're going to sort the NFTs by the total rarity score, and we're going to add a rank number, and then we're going to sort it back to the original sort order by addition. Lastly, we'll save the results to a new file called metadata with rarity.json. So let's go ahead and run this now. We're going to open our terminal, pressing control backtick. So we'll type node utils slash get rarity underscore from metadata. And that's pretty quick. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Under our JSON folder, we should have metadata with rarity. Now, if you want to go ahead and scour through this huge file manually, go ahead. But next, let's look at the rarity rank file, which I've written to help us pull out specific info from the rarity metadata file. So that is right here under utils rarity rank.js. This file, when run, will prompt you to help you find NFTs by either the top number, like top 10, top 100, or by a specific edition. So first here, we're going to, again, get our metadata with rarity.json file, and we're gonna parse that data. And this is where we start prompting the user. 
You can enter one if you want to get the top whatever number of NFTs or two to get a specific NFT by addition. So now if you enter one, you'll be asked for the number of NFTs that you want to get. And then it will sort the NFTs by rarity and give you the top whatever number you entered. That will then be console logged. Now, if you enter two, then you'll be prompted to enter the NFT edition number. Then we'll find that edition and console log the info. So let's give it a try. We'll open up our terminal now. And next we're going to type node utils slash rarity underscore rank. All right, so let's enter one and then let's get the top 10. All right, so here is the top 10 code cats by ranking. And I'm going to blur some of this out because not all of these have been revealed yet. And if we run this again, let's type two this time and let's see about addition number. I don't know. I'm just going to pick a random one. 23. So code cats number 23 is ranked 2,766 out of 10,000 currently. So that's not too bad. Now, if you want to use this rarity calculator independently to get any collections rarity, use my NFT rarity calculator repo. Let me show you how to use it. Go to the repo. It's linked in the description. If you don't have a GitHub account, it's free. I recommend signing up. First, help me out by giving the repo a star. I'd really appreciate it. Then you can either clone the repo or download the zip file. So you can go here to code. You can download the zip file or clone the repo with this URL. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that. And if you download the zip file, unzip it and open the unzipped folder in VS Code. If you don't have VS Code, go to code.visualstudio.com to download it for free. Since I'm using the clone feature in VS Code, I'm going to go over here to source control and I'm going to clone repository and I'm going to enter that URL and then hit enter and then select the location where I want to download it and then open the folder. If you don't see all of these exact options, make sure that you have the GitHub extension installed and log into your GitHub account in VS Code. So down here, you can see under accounts that I have logged in to GitHub. But if you've downloaded the zip file or cloned the repo, either way, this is where you're going to end up. So now we need to install our dependencies. This does require Node.js. So if you don't have Node.js installed, go to nodejs.org and follow the installation instructions there for your operating system. Again, everything that we're using here is completely free. So back in VS Code, let's open up our terminal, control backtick, and let's type npm i, and that will get everything installed. Now, if you have any errors here, be sure that you have Node.js installed properly. Okay, back to our files here, you're going to see this rarity rank.js and rarity.js. These are similar to the files that we looked at in the 10k collection repo. Now the difference here is that we don't have the metadata.json file to use to calculate our rarities. So we need to get all of the info for the collection that we want to calculate rarities for. To do that, we're going to use NFT port to get this data. Now, if you don't have an NFT port API key, go to nftport.xyz to get one for free. After you get your API key, open the .env.example file, enter the key here just like this without any quotation marks, and then rename this file to .env. So just take the .example off. Now let's go to the rarity.js file. And the only thing that you need to change in here is the contract address and chain. Now this works on Polygon or Ethereum. I'm going to leave my CodeCats contract in here and leave the chain at Polygon. Now if we scroll down here, you'll see that it gets all of the NFT info for this collection from NFT port and then processes the rarity the same way that we did in the 10K collection repo. Now it is going to take a little bit longer because it has to go out and get all of this data from NFT port. The bigger the collection that you're checking, the longer it's going to take. So let's go ahead and run this. For this one, we just type node rarity. It's going to give us an update every time it receives a new page. So it goes out and it's limited to 50 NFTs per page. So if you have 10,000 NFTs, that's about 200 pages. Let's speed this up for time. Now to get all this data from my collection, it took about five minutes. All right, now that we have all of our data, we can run rarity rank just like we did before to get the top number or specific token ID. So let's run that node rarity rank and let's select number one and let's get the top 10 revealed code cats. All right, so here's the top 10 with their ranking score. These are worth the most. If you own a specific code cat, we can check that with option two. And let's say uh, number 123, that's ranked 230. Pretty good. All right, I want to look at one more. Let's change the contract address to the Sketchy 8 Book Club collection from my friend Daniel at Hashlips, which is on the Ethereum network. So let's change this to Ethereum. So let's save that. We're going to go back to our terminal 
And let's run node rarity again. And again, we're gonna have to wait and collect all the data, and then we can check the rarities. So we'll speed this up again. All right, now let's get the top 10 from this collection. There we go, there's the top 10 from the Sketchy 8 Book Club collection. Be sure to check it out, it's a really cool collection. It's time to release some more Code Cats. Let's see if you can get a rare one. Download and run the Rarity Calculator repo to find out how rare yours is. Each batch that is released will be priced at the average sale price from the last 30 days. The price continues to go up, so if you've wanted one, now's the time. Buying or selling an NFT without knowing how rare it might be is dangerous. It could cost you a lot of money. Or if you do know its rarity, it could make you a lot of money. I hope this tool helps you out. Help me out by liking this video and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.